You must not touch the elephant of the Muay Thai master Tony. Otherwise you will end up like this man. One second he's comfortably cupping. The next second a man flew in through the door. He was kicked out of the room. The fighters in the room grabbed their weapons. But Tony was quicker than they were. The man was furious. He stood up and cursed at the man. The result. He was Tony. The god of Muay Thai. Usually at this time, he was walking with the elephants in the mountains. But today his elephant and his baby elephant were taken by this group of people. Tony wants to get his elephant back. He will use force to find them. He easily defeated everyone present. And then asked for the whereabouts of the two elephants. He learns that his elephants have been taken to Sydney by elephant thieves. He immediately got up and went there. Unfortunately, he had just arrived in Sydney when he was met by a wanted driver. Soon after he got in his car, a group of police officers followed him, seeing no way out. The wanted man took Tony hostage, but Tony didn't need that kind of treatment. Tony escaped from the wanted man and was chased by the police because his speed is too fast. The police suspected that he and the wanted man were working together. Faced with the police gun, Tony had to be caught. On the way. He kept explaining the purpose of his visit to Sydney. But before he could reach the police station, he saw the man who stole his elephant. Tony quickly attacked the police and forced them to stop. He then caught up with the elephant thief and told him to return the elephant. But the elephant thief has two more men. Under their cover, he quickly fled to another place. Tony chased after him and was greeted by more of his men. The elephant thief took the opportunity to leave the place. Before he left, he called for more fighters. These men were armed with steel pipes, Tony's bare hands. He could only hold on to one of them to help defend himself from harm. The fight depends not only on the fists and feet but also the brain. When you know you can't fight, you have to run. Tony moves and dodges. He spreads out the fighters so he can take them down one by one. One of the fighters drove a mountain bike full of rivets. He's trying to run Tony into the ground. Tony runs for the glass. He waits until he's about to hit it and then he climbs the wall. The fighter was caught off guard and crashed the car over. Then Tony found the restaurant where the elephant thief was. He was one against a hundred all the way through the rampage. But when he finally got to the elephant thief's place, he realized it wasn't that simple. He put a live scorpion in his mouth and chewed it slowly. This is a restaurant for the rich. Any rare animal will become a meal for the rich. When Tony tried to find the elephant thief, the elephant thief threw him a bell. It was his baby elephant's bell. Tony was confused. Looking around at the poor animals on the chopping board, he immediately understood the situation of his baby elephant. Tony felt angry. The people around him were cheering for the elephant thief. Tony stood up in anger. He took the elephant's bell. But then he was kicked to the ground by the elephant thief. Tony looked at the elephant bell and was completely furious. He wrapped the rope around his hand and got up. The elephant thief realizes that Tony is not easy to deal with. He then used the whip leg to kick him. But Tony goes straight for a late side kick and then give him a punch. But he was just getting warmed up. Now Tony is going to do the real thing. The guests in the room finally panicked when they saw how strong Tony was. They all got up and tried to escape from here. But the elephant thief's female henchmen were still trying to get closer. After taking care of these people, Tony then saw the appearance of the back kitchen. It was full of precious animals waiting to be slaughtered. They were locked in tiny cages. Their mouths were screaming for help. Tony couldn't imagine the fate of his elephants. He made his way into the deepest part of the back kitchen. There was a group of imprisoned women and a good cop tied up. This policeman had ended up like this because he didn't support the men. Tony gets him out. To his surprise, he saw his baby elephant in another warehouse. There were tears in the baby elephant's eyes. Tony was heartbroken. His baby elephant was found. Then where is his big elephant? Tony found out the origin of the restaurant from the police. The owner behind the restaurant is Kim. This gourmet restaurant is just one of her many properties. Even the arrogant elephant thief is just one of her employees. When Kim heard that Tony was making a scene at the restaurant, she sent an assassin to take care of him. 
This killer was wearing a raincoat and showing off his abs. Tony was really worried about him catching a cold. But the killer was obviously very arrogant. He just took off his raincoat and smiled at Tony. Then he did his series of side whip kicks. Very elegant posture. But he didn't even hit Tony. The killer was not satisfied. He does another somersault in the water. Now he's got you. Tony is also angry. Tony finally found Kim with the baby elephant after a lot of trouble. But he never expected. His elephant was taken by Kim and turned into bones. This is a Thai elephant worth hundreds of millions of dollars. The gold on it is worth a lot of money. But it wasn't the gold that was valuable. It was the complete elephant bone. It was removed from all the blood and meat only a skeleton. Seeing this scene Tony was very heartbroken. The elephant had grown up with him and was like a family to him. Tony lost the ability to fight under the extreme pain. He numbly accepted the beatings of Kim's men. But the pain in his body was not as bad as the pain in his heart. That's when one of her men stabbed him with a knife. Tony regained consciousness. How dare you stab me? He started to fight back frantically. None of his men was a match for him. But so many people made Tony fight very hard. One by one. He hit the others, which made him exhausted. If it wasn't for the hatred to support him, Tony really can't hold on. More and more people fell on the ground. The scene finally quieted down. But Kim's bald killer came again. He is 2 meters tall and weighs 300 pounds. Let's see his strength. It seems that Tony's knee is more powerful. He was knocked unconscious. He got up and tried to fight back. But it turns out that strong people don't always win when they fight. Tony doesn't want to waste any more time. He jumped on the killer's head and pounded him. Just as the killer was about to be hammered to death, Kim breaks Tony's fist with a whip. The killer had a chance to catch his breath. He started his revenge. Tony was as weak as a chicken in his hands. He grabbed Tony and dropped, lifted, choked and pushed him. Under the combined attack of the killer and Kim, Tony was soon knocked to the ground. He fell under the elephant bone. He decided to use the elephant bone as a weapon. He tied the bone to his wrist. Tony used the tough elephant bone to defeat the others one by one. Kim saw how well he could fight and fled to the rooftop to escape by helicopter. But she was only halfway up. Tony rushed up and knocked her down with a knee. Kim smashed on the elephant bone and died instantly. And Tony was lucky to fall on the ivory tusk. This tusk has protected Tony for many years. He rested on this tusk when he was a child. I never thought he would be saved by the tusk now. It's true that when you give your love to animals, they will also return your love. You can subscribe and leave a comment. See you next time.